Well, uh, thanks for taking a look at this. Uh, this is the uh, Elements uh, synthesizer. Um, it's called Elements because uh, I'm inspired by the elements of some of the old synthesizers that I love. Uh, this, as I advertise it, is a British look, but Jap sound. British Japanese sound. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do with it was have a touch keyboard on it. It's a touch capacitive keyboard. You have three oscillators here. You actually have a fourth oscillator here, which can go into audio. So you can give a four oscillator sound. Effectively though, this is your modulating oscillator, and this is uh, also a modulating oscillator. Now, the element synth, this is the size of it. There's a rack version of this as well. The rack version is effectively the central section of this. I decided to expand on this to include the third oscillator and the modulating area here as well. Um, seen here, uh, beside the unit, is a spring, uh, spring line reverberation for that classic uh, metallic analog sound. Um, this plugs in via a three-quarter inch jack at the back. Now, uh, this gives the user the option of using typically a spring line like this one or larger Accutronics type or in fact anything you would want to plug phono leads into. So, uh, what does it sound like? Let's give it a, a whirl. I have this thing here called Ultra Bender. I'm going to apply what I call Tape Delay Simulator, which is a. I'll take the, these off. This has uh, a diode ladder filter. The diode ladder filter, uh, it's a bit different to the Moog ladder. It has, a, 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 to me, a creamier, softer sound, but it's lovely. Let's take this uh, modulation off. Got sample and hold going on here. I'm going to put it into its repeat mode. Uh, Modulator. Let's have a listen to this. Now the analog ring modulator has two sine waves coming from these into there. Let's hear it. So the filter, like the traditional Moog style ladder, is a 24 decibel per octave ladder. When I was designing this diode filter, uh, one or two people said, hey, are you going to make it 18 dB per octave? Uh, and I thought about that because the actual ladder itself 
uh, has four stages or rungs in the ladder, but in fact there's a fifth stage in it, a fifth capacitor, which appears to give this uh, a particularly squelchy or acidic-like sound. Uh, and I was very pleased uh, with that. So I would actually say this is a 32 dB per octave filter, yeah? So the filter uh, goes into a traditional uh, operational transconducting uh, amplifier 3080 uh, chip, which is traditional in the older synths. Um, this synthesizer, by the way, is not surface mount design. It is all discrete parts, transistors, op-amps, ICs. And the keyboard section, if you can see in there, there is about 90 discrete transistors. And for each key, uh, there are about 15 parts to each key. So it's a heck of a lot of um, analog electronics in it. And there is no PIC processor, there's no computer, there's nothing like that in it. So yeah, it's completely analog. Ah! There is one thing, uh, on the production model, uh, we will be having MIDI in. Now, to make us any synthesizer these days without MIDI would be folly. So, the option is there to have MIDI. And on the actual synth itself, if we can see here, here we have it just now uh, in its, uh, I don't know what I've done here. The touch keyboard mode, MIDI mode, and then there's the external CV and gate mode, okay? Now when I was designing this, those that were interested said, hey Ken, will it have CV and gate going out the way? So here we have CV and gate going out the way. So for your modular systems, uh, you can use the keyboard to, to drive the modular system. And one of the things that I thought, Will I just give raw CV out, raw CV and gate? That means no modulator, nothing. And I thought, no. On the CV out, all the controls down here can be used on your modular synthesizer. So it makes it extremely versatile. Yeah. Now, here you have uh, for VCO1, VCO2, VCO3, uh, their own separate control voltages in. So if you use a three-stage analog sequencer, you can do chords and all this kind of thing. There's an external input amp, and the external input amp uh, can be switched to either going to the voltage-controlled filter or to the ring modulator. And as you may know, when you use a microphone with a ring modulator, you can get that robot or Dalek sounds. Uh, it's great fun. So what I've tried to do in the element synthesizer is to contain everything that I want in a performance synthesizer. Now, the touch keyboard is a delight to play, but there are going to be times where I want to play with our real keys, and hence the MIDI or the external CV and gate in.